Lucas Media. So the PBC has kind of been inactive a lot, right? We haven't got the chance to see a lot of fighters that we wanted to see that signed with the PBC. Well, according to Rick Glazer, he's hearing that the PBC is not doing well. And even that there's rumors that Turk al will be funding the PBC. And uh, he does a long thread on Twitter, or long message on Twitter, should I say. But one part I'm going to say is, whether or not his excellency, Turkey al ultimately attempts to save PBC, it's really going to be just temporary. Because they don't have a business plan that is profitable, have aging fighters, don't have the executives in place to succeed. Those executives don't have empathy for boxing. And the damage has been done. Now, this is per Rick Glazer. Honestly, we don't really know what's going on with the PBC. I do think that there's a lot of money that's been lost. I think that people... A lot of people, including myself, you know, hey, we're going to keep it real over here. We all boxing fans. We thought that it would be a new model, um, especially when you heard a lot of good things coming out from all the fighters. Because do y'all remember that just 10 years ago, you had fighters refusing to leave Al Heyman. You had people even like Floyd saying that Al Heyman's like a father to them. Al Heyman's taught them how to get money and, and how to, and also that they don't get paid lump sums he tried to help them spread their money out and a lot of fans were just going with it because again this is what the fighters are saying and it's hard to to think that a brother that went to that got his undergrad in economics and an mba from harvard and he's from also from cleveland so he's from the midwest as well would be shady you know you didn't you never really heard a lot of people come out besides promoters going at al Heyman, even a lot of fighters for other uh, for working on other promotional companies even have respect for al Heyman. you really just heard like the bob arams and the eddie hearn saying that he's not good for the sport he's ruining the sport and i think a lot of it was just because he had all the power if everybody went to bob arum then you would see that thing about you would see people saying that about bob arum or if everybody went to eddie hearn you would see them saying that about eddie hearn or even with uh, Frank Warren with Queensberry. Now, one thing we not we can't we can't lie about is that Al Hamid being a brother, he was gonna be smeared regardless. But you fast forward to 2024, and you're hearing rumblings come out, and you're hearing rumors, you know, about him cheating fighters coming out. You seen Adrian Broner lash out. You hear other people. Family members come out talk about Al Heyman. You know, we don't know. Honestly, we don't know. It could be a lot of these fighters, they just spoiled. Think about it. They wasn't really fighting anybody. They were only fighting once a year, twice at the most, but they was getting paid five million dollars a a fight. So back then everything was all good. You ain't hear no complaints. Al this, Al that. Anytime a fighter won, I like to thank Al Heyman. You know, shout out to Al Heyman. But now that the money's starting to dry up, you know, you, you're hearing all of this. And again, I said this in a prior video, 20 million people streamed this fight. So the money drying up. Now that could just be to people buying the fire sticks, but a lot of it has to do as well with us fans not getting the fights that we want to actually see. Even like with Ryan Garcia versus Tank Davis, that did one point something million, one point two million, I believe. That's still one of the highest fights of all time, but that's because the fans got to see what they want to see. Mm -hmm. And honestly, one thing Rick Glazer was being honest about: a lot of fighters that got older. You know, they they buzz is gone. The Charlos, the Charlos is in their mid thirties. Uh, Leo Santa Cruz is up there. What happened to Gary, Gary Russell? Um, all of these are aging fighters. The only real young star they got is... I don't even want to say Tank Davis. Because ain't Tank Davis about to be 30? Romeo Cormel possibly. I know he signed to Floyd. But I don't know if Al Heyman is his uh, advisor. 
So I don't know. I don't know if the PBC will fully go away. I heard that Al Heyman was uh, leaving the PBC. Who knows? But you know, I think it's just tough times in the mo- the whole mold. See, boxing changed. The fighters didn't change, but just the whole. I'll, well, let me say this: the market value changed because before people still paid to watch a lot of different fights even though they was playing games but now people are saying man forget that i'll just stream it illegally you know you will you want to play games and, and fight this random person that even though for instance canelo could fight david benavidez but yet he chose to fight jaime mugia and now there's rumors coming out that it did a little bit over half a million Half a million is not a success when you got to pay somebody 30 plus million dollars. And on top of that, you now got fans saying, you know what? Until he fight David Benavidez, I'm not going to pay for that. I'm going to watch the fight anyway. I might as well just watch it for the free. So people got to realize that, you know, the, the, the mode has changed. And now you got to start promoting yourselves. The ESPNs is gone. The FS1s is, is pretty much gone. They don't talk about boxing like that on a daily basis. And then it's people like us. You know, us who won't hear communicating every day. That's really deep into this boxing world. And then even then, a lot of fighters, they... I'm going to keep it real. They don't really fool with us content creators. They don't really want to do interviews. If they do, they got an attitude when you ask questions. So all of this is just piling up now. And people are just tired of it. So I don't know. We don't know. We, I mean, boxing overall is not really doing that well. Boxing used to be the number one sport. The number one, they were, they was the cream of the crop. Jack Dempsey made way more money than Babe Ruth ever could have when they talk when we talking about being uh, playing a sport. So what happened between then and now? These all these games, and if the PBC is coming to an end, or if they're really running low cash. It ain't no different, man. All these people phase in and phase out. So who knows? I mean, but if Al Heyman did do them wrong, it's boxing. And how often have we seen this happen? I'm just keeping it real, y'all. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.